Today, we are in Syria's most devastated areas after two major earthquakes struck Syria and Turkey on February 6th. If you look around, you will see a tent next to a house. Both the tent and the house belongs to the same person, Muhammad, a 54-year-old man. The man's house was destroyed, so he set up a tent next to it. We were asleep in peace in what had turned into ruins. God saved us. My wife was awake and fully conscious. She felt the tremors and shouted, Wake up! The earth is shaking! There is an earthquake! We hardly shouted, ran towards the door and went out. During the earthquake, while in the courtyard, I saw that no wall was left intact. I asked my sons, We are in open air now. What happened to us? I came back to the bedroom where we were sleeping. I tried to open the door in vain. All the walls of the bedrooms had collapsed. However, the intact walls give them an opportunity to exploit certain parts, including those of the kitchen. Muhammad and his family of five spend their day in the tent and come in only to cook. The life before the earthquake was semi-stable. We were living in a house, stably, comfortably, and peacefully. After the earthquake, I swear that a day passes like a year. We have no shelter but this house. Ayman, one of Muhammad's sons, is an outstanding 8th grade student. He dropped out now, after his school was destroyed. He was able to take this board out of the house. He placed it in the tent to continue his studies. Ayman is one of many students who were affected by the earthquake and left out of school. While Ayman awaits going back to school, his father seems more desperate and less optimistic about what is to come. For whoever survived the endless war, the COVID-19 and cholera epidemics, and the earthquake, is now greatly afraid of what the coming days might hold. Our dreams are over. They are all over. We hated everything in this life. Our dreams are over.